Hello. I've just cracked myself a cold one. I'm totally addicted to La Croix. La Croix. La Croix. Hi. I'm very excited for our live today. One of my very, very favorite topics is video. So I'm going to tell you right away when you hop in here. Um, I'm, I'm going to, I've had a, uh, we've had a lot of people join this community over the last couple of weeks and a lot of questions about videos. So I've pulled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the questions that were recurring uh, with new members on video. How do I get? started making videos right now how can I be efficient and effective with my marketing and videos how to do videos live and recorded correctly right out of the gate uh, I'm gonna share my uh, ninja tips and tools for getting over fear of doing video we it's one of my uh, dear passions is to help people who feel that mind go blank deer in the headlights ah when they start to do videos so we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about how to do great live videos on Facebook or elsewhere how to make and post intriguing videos was one of the questions and how to present like a pro and attract your audience using video so that's one of my favorite topics. Of course, you know I love to help people give voice to their work in the biggest possible way, online, on stage, and on camera. And so I am gonna answer all of those questions today. Buckle up, stay with me if you can. And if you're watching the replay, don't forget that you can comment. When I invite you to comment, you can ask questions at any time. And me and the team will be checking back in to make sure you get the answers that you need and uh, uh, any resources that I'm able to share with you, I will. Um, so where do we want to begin? I want I can jump right into these questions, uh, how to get started making videos right now. And uh, one, other, one of the other questions that kind of relates to that is like wanting to do it correctly right out of the gate. So. A few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, we did another video focused live training here and uh, I shared with the community here my um, fast video formula. If you don't have that yet and you want that download, you want to type video in the comments and we will get that over to you. Uh, right out of the gate, a lot of this is uh, gonna. A lot of what we're gonna cover today will be supported by that formula, and it's a great starting point for doing videos. <clears throat> uh, my phone's ringing. Uh, sorry about that. So, uh, where was I? Yeah, so what I wanted to tell you is we're three minutes in and this is one of my favorite topics and it's been such a huge explosion for my business and also a lot of the mindset and inner game stuff that I've been mastering and working on for decades in my work around helping people with their fears and blocks around being seen and heard was really amplified when I started using video. So I thought I'd start by telling you uh, that even though I was a prof I still am a professional actress, but I don't pursue that as much as I used to. Uh, but when I was pursuing professional acting full time, I had the great opportunity of doing a bunch of TV commercials. And I loved doing them. They were really fun and highly lucrative. So it was really exciting. And I fast forward to 20 years and I start to build this business online. I really felt like working one-on-one -on -one with people is amazing. I love that work, working in a studio, working live. I love that work, but I wanted to reach as many people as possible because I've talked to so many people who are choked up around sharing their big gift, the real work they're here to do in the world, around inviting people to hire them, around how do I talk about my work in a way that engages people so that people really get it, feeling like a best Kept secret and all of these things are stuff, stuff that I've struggled with all my life so when I started to take my work online and talk to more people help more people serve more people be willing to play bigger I realized quickly that one of the ways the most powerful tools we have to do that is working online with video uh, people are watching videos there's a reason we're watching videos there's different types of videos so I will tell you also right here in the first five minutes of this training that uh, I focus on helping people be 
in their videos. And there are many ways to create videos with the technology that we have today uh, that you do not have to be in. But because of my work and my history and my um, the, the in intuitive wisdom that I have downloaded to serve entrepreneurs, coaches, healers, speakers, I feel that we in the transformation industry, the, the people who have a big idea that they're bringing through, I call you visionaries, sometimes hidden visionaries, secret visionaries, reluctant visionaries, uh, established visionaries, and exemplary visionaries, people who feel fully self-expressed. And that's you know rare in our world. So I love to help people feel fully self-expressed. We need that vision to be shared. If every voice is giving, giving their, uh, is shared if every voice is shared now voice in the biggest sense of the word yes our physical voice but our inner voice and that knowing that we have and the gift that we're called to bring the desires and dreams that we have and what we the impact we want to make if every voice is shared then the world becomes transformed yeah so we can do that really powerfully on video and I here I am stepping it up to go take my business online wanting to serve more people and I wasn't using video I had a history doing TV commercials I'm really good at that but that was selling somebody else's stuff. That was selling the Army and Sprint and Pizza Hut and Red Cross and at and I did lots of TV commercials, national network TV commercials, super fun, really exciting, but I had copy, I had a director, I had hair and makeup. I didn't have to figure out what to say. And that's where I realized, wow, video is this powerful tool, but I don't know how to share my work. I don't know what to say. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Hi, Farrell, reluctant visionary, right? We're called, but we're so scared or it feels so unsafe or there's just this wall, right? Awesome, I'm glad you're here. So I said about conquering that resistance. That's kind of how I roll. And uh, fast forward, uh, what ended up happening, I did a video, uh, 30 videos in 30 days, and then many of you know I have a program called Make Videos That Sell, and that is where I brought all of my experience as uh, how to be on camera, which honestly, there's just some basic stuff that anybody can do uh, that make it easier, make it more fun, make it better. I'm going to share some of that stuff with you today. Uh, better to do, right? If you're feeling good about it and you're not stuck in the cringe and the overwhelm with the technology and all that stuff, your energy is better, you're more relaxed, you're more authentic, and learning to connect to your voice, your mission, your message, uh, on any platform, video, blogs, emails, all of it, is what we need to do in order to be heard, in order to make our impact, yeah? So there I was, no uh, clue <laughs> about why I wasn't doing videos until I started. And then I quickly created a system. I quickly realized that I had all these tools and resources that many people didn't have and was dedicated to sharing them. And that's what we're gonna cover here today. I'm gonna take my time to answer these questions. So feel free to pop in and out. Um, if you're here, comment hearts, likes, thumbs up, share the love. And I'm gonna be here until I transmit this information and uh, uh, try and keep it quick for you, but I want you to have the answers because we have new people in the community who have really asked these questions and I'm going to answer them. Farrell, you had a specific question, I think. If you want to type that back in the comments here, do that for me um, right away and I will uh, answer it pronto. Uh, I don't have the people's names on my list of questions and I just picked the top seven that I was drawn to in the moment following my intuition today. All right. Already nine minutes in. That's my story. That's my background. And now I have a really awesome program that's helping hundreds of entrepreneurs to get the video thing going and from this authentic, aligned, organic place. Yeah, really important. So how do I get started making videos now? I'm going to tell you, and I've done this in other trainings, but do you have a smartphone? I don't know how you're running a business in this day and age without one if you don't. If you don't have a smartphone, you probably have a laptop with a computer uh, or an iPod, iPad with a computer, a device that takes pictures. So if you have that, you have the ability to get started making videos right now. And you will <clears throat> simply, uh, sorry, I have all these apps open on my phone. You know, you will find your camera app and you will open it 
there I am making a video of me talking about videos and you will press record <laughs> which I'm doing right now and then you will share some wisdom some bit of information we'll get to what to share in a second and you will look in the little tiny circle that is the lens of your camera if you can't find it you can move your hand up and cover it up oh look you can't see me that's my hand there it is and you're gonna talk right into that little circle stop and you have made a video so yeah I know there's larger question at hand right because we got to that moment of what do I say and that's why I'm sharing the fast video formula it's just a simple system so that you can start to think about every moment of every day when you're working with a client when you're thinking about what you want to create when you're marketing and writing an email all of those little snippets can be video topics yeah I love to help people repurpose their content so that they um, aren't recreating the you know re recreating re reinventing the wheel every time yeah so how to get started making videos right now is really that simple. Make a video. I prefer the phones, especially if you have a phone that's less than a year or two old. The cameras in them are amazing. Um, there are a few tips and tools. You want to use your common sense to see how much light is on your face and not be in shadow. Uh, I always do suggest that people use a tripod. Where is mine? It's tucked away somewhere. Oh, there it is. This is my favorite tripod. You can buy it on Amazon for about $15 uh, so that your video is still. Uh, you can also make a video while you're walking around the park. I do that too. And uh, the way to get started making video is, I'm going to say it, and I don't even mean to be obvious about it, but is to start making videos. You know the technology. Sit down and make yourself hit record and start talking. Now, the fast video formula talks about what to say. Is talks about how to get started creating content. Uh, what video software do I find is the most efficient? So that's a great question, Farrell. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and touch on it now. If you're talking about editing software, uh, I. <laughs> Um, it doesn't matter. The most efficient software is the one that you have, the one that you can use. Uh, and I encourage people to get comfortable and confident making videos uh, before they worry about editing and software. I know that sometimes being able to edit feels like um, you have to be able to do that before you would ever dare post a video and if that's you I know many people use Camtasia I know there's I think it's Adobe Premiere Pro any one of those things can easily become an obstacle to getting started because it's a whole new software that you have to learn I have been uh, doing live videos because it saves time I can deliver value quickly and I um, don't get down the rabbit hole of becoming a video editor that is not my passion it is not my uh, cake so I prefer to do live videos when I have edited and I have created my whole program specifically on purpose on my phone uh, so to to demonstrate that it is completely a possible to do in a professional have them look good kind of way uh, uh, I have used something as simple as a movie maker or a free editing software and there's a uh, software on your uh, phones even that you can download and do quick edits. Uh, I use WeVideo, I think. Um, but to, to if that's what you mean about video software is editing software, I, I uh, encourage you to try just hitting record and making a quick two minute, three minute video and using the fast video formula, which we can touch on briefly in order to do that. Corey is asking, how long do you recommend someone's video be when they are struggling to get started? You know, if you'll give yourself permission to say, Hi, you've already made a video, I know that, Corey. Um, I enjoy and, and, and think that they're effective for marketing purposes. I think they're a powerful tool to grow your business, to do a quick live video on what I call teeny tiny teaching topics so that you use the fast video formula to have a, 
an engaging first few moments and then a little nugget of ideally something that will give instant gratification, something your audience really wants, something that's high value, a little teaching topic uh, that you can talk on for a minute or so, a minute or two, and then invite them to do something, a call to action that could be like this video, share this video, or as I said at the beginning of this training, type the word video if you want the fast video formula. It can also be uh, eventually a sign up for my program or click here to get on my email list or download this free gift rather. You know, so that call to action is super important. People are waiting for us to tell them what to do. Uh, so I think short videos and getting better at honing in on a little topic and a little nugget is a great way to build your confidence fast, Corey. All right, how to be efficient and effective with my marketing and videos. We've already talked about that a little bit. Uh, to have, um, this is where my whole visibility strategy uh, program. I have a visibility strategy workshop, a series of live trainings I did here and a master class that work that accompany my visibility strategy map. So in terms of that efficiency and effectiveness, you do want to have a strategy if you really want to make videos that actually lead to clients and customers. And that's uh, not an individual video, but rather a, an overarching strategy. We're not going to go into a ton of that today. But in order to be effective, I like to suggest that, um, first of all, you always have a hook at the beginning, which can often be just a quick question for you that will resonate with your ideal clients, and a teaching topic, something of value in the middle, and a call to action. That way you're starting to get them to engage with you, and that's what we want in order to build the relationship. Remember, it is a relationship. We're not just flinging spaghetti at the walls. Build the relationship so that they will take the next step with you, which may be coming back for your next video. Yeah, uh, how to be efficient and effective with my marketing and videos. So the efficiency piece for me is building that muscle of being able to drop in and offer high value, succinct uh, content quickly and organically live. So if you can just make a quick video in a moment of inspiration and know that you've hit on those points, then you're use, making great use of your time, you're capturing an insp inspiration in the moment, and you're able to create content uh, at any point really on the fly. And then you don't have to carve out a whole two or three hours to sit down and get the hair and makeup perfect. Maybe you do. I, I, I get faster at that the more I do it. I just did it before this call. Uh, but you build the muscle of being able to drop in and create that content. And I think that's where it starts to become efficient. I think that working on live video is one of the most efficient uses of your time. Yes, it's nerve wracking, but it is a skill. For some people, it's nerve wracking. And it can be, okay, I'm rambling, or even here on this call, I'm going on some tangents, but I'm offering value. I want you to um, uh, have the tools and the benefit of mistakes I've made and the systems that I've created, right? So how to be efficient and effective with your marketing and your videos, I would say get really good at honing in on those topics. And remember, we're looking for what our clients are looking for. We want to talk to them about what they want, what they're looking to get, the results that they want, not what we're dying to share, okay? So we, we have the gift and we're dying to share it for a reason, but we wanna frame it in the language of our clients so that they can hear us, okay? That's one way to be efficient and effective. You want it to work, you want it to attract your clients, you want it to engage them to do what you've invited them to do, to take the next step with you. And in terms of efficiency with your time, uh, I think that editing can be a bit of a trap, Going down the rabbit hole takes a lot longer to edit a perfect video. I think it takes longer to create a video without being in it than it does to just show up and have your presence and your voice and your face and your owned embodied message and your expertise shared in a few minutes live. I think that's super powerful. Now you can record that and then post it. You don't have to actually shoot it live. And that's where you can look at a little bit of editing. Uh, and as I said, there are other people that are amazing at helping you create a video without ever being in there. But then there's this time where you're gonna write a script. That takes some time. So I love to help people to get this formula, this system of these three simple elements so that you start to create content and think in the terms of the content that you're creating as you're going through the day the rest of your life. If you're writing an email, that could be a video too. If you're writing a blog, that could probably be 10 videos. Uh, and you can do both and go back and forth. So re Purposing your content is important when it comes to efficiency and effectiveness. All right, that was a ton of efficiency and effectiveness. So, 
how to do videos live and recorded correctly right out of the gate. So the main thing I think that, that matters is uh, making sure that there's light on your face, making sure that you can be heard. I sometimes use a microphone in my house, in my space. I'm in my home office right now. Uh, the sound is a little bit better without it, so I just talk to my camera. And uh, I have my studio space where I sometimes record, and the, the space in there is really great live as well. You can buy a little lapel mic for 20 bucks, and sometimes using, even using your headset is fine. Uh, but all of that stuff can be up-leveled at any time. If you're not making videos, I'm going to encourage you to just take your phone out and make a video. Okay? Think about 10 topics that uh, ideally you've asked your clients what they need and what they want and what they're looking for. Right? That's the first phase of the four phases of visibility that I talk about in my visibility strategy. You want to provide, you want to be, use the words and the language that your clients are actually looking for. You can even search that in Google and see what people are searching and then create your content Content. It's still the same wisdom that you're bringing, the same gift you're bringing through, but it is um, framed and uh, articulated in a way that your clients can hear you. Okay? So to do them correctly, right out of the gate, sounds a little bit to me like a red flag, a little bit of perfectionism coming in there. We feel like it's this permanent record. Everyone in the world is going to see it and will die of mortification. That, that phrase, you know, I felt like I could die of embarrassment, is a real feeling. We have that phrase in our culture because we feel that way sometimes. And uh, getting too worried about doing it correctly I, sounds like a block to me, sounds like something that will just stop you from doing it at all and I will tell you the way to get better at doing it is to make videos the way to get better at going live is to go live now that's why you know I'm not saying you have to just do it cold without any support a lot of people need support and having some tools and support and guidance around building your confidence can be a game changer and can be the difference for many people in terms of actually uh, getting this platform up and working and having it be fun and easy and fast instead of a whole big rabbit hole of time suck and hating on ourselves about how we look and sound and feeling frustrated and panicky. A lot of stuff goes on because it feels so conspicuous. It is conspicuous. You are magnified and it is recorded. So to do them correctly right out of the gate, uh, know where your camera lens is, have some light on your face, Practice a couple of times, you know, privately if that grows your confidence. Have your bullet points of what you're going to talk about. I encourage people not to write scripts because then you're reading a script even if you have a teleprompter. Unless you're trained to bring written words to life or you're a real natural at it, um, it's going to feel less organic and authentic than you simply teaching and talking. So those are my points on uh, live and or recorded. If you're real, uh, if there's a real resistance or nerves or hesitancy, um, I definitely would start with recorded videos. Remember, you can record a video and delete it right away. You don't even have to watch it, but that can be a really powerful tool to improve. However, most people as business owners were creative and it's a creative practice to find our words and write emails and write blogs and create videos. And most creatives um, left to their own devices, we lose perspective. So it's very hard to shift our confidence, our performance without support and feedback. So if you start watching videos and just shame out and turn them off and never do them again, that's going to obviously do more harm than good. And uh, having a safe environment to post and to get encouragement and to have specific things that you can do to get better instead of just feeling like it's too horrible to exist and you could never do it, which is what happens for many, many, many people. That's why the Make Videos That Sell program has a private secret group where people can just be weird and crazy and try and do their best. Uh, and many people are way, it's often way better than you think it is. So having a reality check. Uh, but this worrying about doing it perfectly out of the gate, I hear correctly, like perfectly. Uh, I would say let yourself be a beginner and begin, okay? Uh, that's a great segue into my ninja tips and tools to get over fear of video. So one of them I've already shared, and I probably already said it about a hundred times. Here we are 25 minutes in, uh, and that is to make a video. 
okay? If you can take a picture or you can make a video of someone else, you can make a video of yourself. So practice, practice, do it, do it, do it. And, uh, and if there's a huge backlash or cringe or insecurity or you ramble or you can never remember the words and you hit stop, 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 stop over and over again, you just need a little support. It is not rocket science. Everyone in the world has presence. Everyone in the world has a mission and a message if they want to, if they want to get still and honor and listen for it. And if you have those two things, you can rock the platform of video, but you probably need some support to help you find the language, grow your confidence, and uh, have a place and a framework to continue to improve and get better. You can see my video beginnings on YouTube. On I think it's Michelle Copper on YouTube. I should know that. We can post that link. I left all my initial uh, videos up. Some of them are grainy and fuzzy and my camera was kind of dying and my laptop and the light wasn't good or sometimes there's internet delay. You can even see that here. Um, all that stuff happens, but I left them up to prove that I didn't die. And most of them, I think I've gone back and looked over the years and there's some value there. That's more important. So the other best tool I have to get over your fear of doing video besides doing it, getting support, and is uh, to let your message, your mission, the work you're here to bring be more important than how you think you look and sound. Okay, that's a muscle that we build and there are simple steps and tools to get better at that. And so get the support you need to, to get over your fear of doing video. It can be very powerful to start um, just making some videos uh, and then finding a champion. I am a champion. I don't have an agenda or an attachment to how you look or sound. I want you to be honest, authentic, have connection to your organic message, find your thoughts, share your presence. And so when we find, we often think in our culture, in our world, that we need to find a critic, someone who will save us from dying from embarrassment, someone who is going to help us make it good enough or help us make it passable or, or worthy. And uh, yes, you can improve. Yes, we can all improve. Uh, but I always suggest and encourage you to find someone who makes you, who feels like a champion, not a critic. Because a critic feels compelled to tell us what we did wrong, what we need to do better, how to fix, tweak, pick picks at us so that we can not die of embarrassment, okay? They feel that they're giving us, that, that we feel like as artists, as creators, we need to be uh, critiqued, um, torn apart, tell me what I'm doing wrong, and I think you'll get much more uh, efficiency, effectiveness, confidence, correct right out of the gate when you find somebody who tells you what you're doing well, and then how to improve. What's the next level, the next step for you? Yeah? Let your message be more important, for sure. And then how do you do that? Give yourself some time, some space, some support in terms of owning and embodying your message, articulating it in a way that your clients can hear you. So to get over your fear of video, finding a champion, working out the simple tech tools, make a couple videos, find out what's going on, simple basics on, on, on having a lit face and being able to be heard using your tripod, check it out, try it out, Great. Remember, your message and your mission is more important. And uh, refine your camera lens so that when you're talking, you can. There's a whole muscle that we build to pretend we're talking to not just our ideal client avatar, but our adoring fan avatar, somebody who really wants to know what we're, he what we're saying, who shows up again and again to be um, with us and learn from us and already invests in our programs and products and services. Yeah? So you're adoring fan. Let your mission, mission and message be more important than how you think you look and sound. Secret side note, I said this in another training recently, what you, what other people think of you is none of your business. You're going to be out there putting your message first, do it perfectly imperfect, perfect is done, you're going to build the muscle and you're going to get support to continue to up level. Yeah? Fantastic. So to do great lives on Facebook, there's lots of fun different things to, to explore and play with, but having that initial, hey, you guys, I gotta ask you a question, that initial moment where you're drawing people in with a question uh, or you are saying right away, hey, this is what I'm gonna make this video about, we're gonna answer all these questions like I did at the beginning of this one so people know what's coming, and you're delivering great value and uh, 
honestly, I do these trainings. I set them up as trainings. We have events. We know we're going to be here for a half hour or more. So I have a longer time and I create more content to teach on these trainings. But you can do a quick Facebook Live in two or three minutes. Offer that teeny tiny teaching topic and, and a question or a quick pattern interrupt to engage with people in the first moment. Say, this is what this video is about and this is what you're going to get from watching it. And then give them one little nugget of uh, your uh, teaching wisdom, your service, your inspiration, yeah? And then invite them to take action. Like this video, share this video, join my group, check out this free gift, yeah? Invite them to take action. So that template works in any video, and how to do great lives on Facebook is to practice and get better at it, and let yourself begin. Okay, and keeping them short can be a tool of permission around doing that. Uh, going through the process in my program, we have the secret group so people can practice going live and see what it feels like in a container of people that's total support. Uh, so to do great lives on Facebook. Now, if it's in your personality to wear silly hats and play some music, and if you have a unique thing, if you play the ukulele, uh, you know, you can bring that uniqueness to the first moment and catch attention, that's fantastic. Uh, but great lives on Facebook are going to deliver value and be clear and consistent, and they're gonna have your presence, your voice, your excitement, your enthusiasm, your wisdom, your message, loud and clear up front with no filter, no apology. That's a muscle you might have to build, and that's okay, okay? Uh, how to make and post intriguing videos. We've talked about that already a little bit. We want to find the questions. We want to talk to our ideal clients or audience and say, what are they looking for? What do they need? What do they want? And start right up front with a question, a pattern interrupt, a silly joke, a song, a something that will help them stop and listen and tell them right up front what you're gonna talk about. That's of value to them, what they're gonna get from it. Uh, that is how we keep people watching. All right, uh, so the last question that I wanted to touch base on, I moved more quickly than I thought I would. Uh, again, remember, if you're watching the replay and type the word video, my team will get back to you just to give you the fast video formula if you don't already have it. Uh, and that is the or it's a simple three-step system to help you begin to pull these nuggets out and start to put them to life to work for you on video. Practicing, building the muscle is huge, okay? Um, and how to present like a pro and attract your audience on video. So we've talked about that attracting your audience a lot today, more than I realized we would. And that is about you know doing some market research and knowing what they're looking for and speaking in their words to the results and desires that they want. And doing that is a muscle that we build. You get better as you go. A lot of times we think, I have this mission and message and body of work and I wanna share it. I know it could help people. I know what they need. And you probably do, and that's amazing and it's so good to honor it. Then the next step, if you're in business for yourself as a solopreneur, a visionary, a healer, a coach, a speaker, somebody uh, like everyone here in this group is, bringing a gift, wanting to have a big impact and also have a livelihood and make a great living and have the resources to help even more people. Uh, and, and if that's you, uh, owning and embodying your message is is your work and if that if that's you if you are a solopreneur in that uh transformational leadership visionary space in in the space at all of helping people then your job you you have another full-time job and that is your marketing and i was posted in this group you can scroll and find my mentor and friend christian michelson has a great video um in this group that i posted on how your marketing is probably going to make the biggest difference in the world. So when you show up on camera with a clear vision of who you're talking to and who you, how, how you serve them and that they are, we can use our imagination to magnify our flaws and our insecurities, or we can use our imagination to magnify our gifts and our clarity and our message. It's a choice and there's ways to practice uh, doing the the one over the other because we tend to default into this habit of negative 
projection. So having a mentor, having a champion, having some support and encouragement and somebody who's like, oh, try this next time instead of, oh, you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that and don't ever do this um, can be the difference for most people. It certainly is for the people that take my program and that I work with one-on-one. -on -one. I am a huge advocate of having a champion. Corey is pretty sure she's a reluctant visionary as well. You know what? I was a reluctant visionary, and I still have to work my tools every day to show up and speak up, be heard, and allow people to invest in the solution and the transformation that I can help them to manifest for themselves. So uh, you are, we are among uh, allies, peers, uh, and I think that we are among the many. I think that more people are uh, hesitant to share their big gifts than not. And video magnifies everything, yeah? So how to present like a pro and attract your audience on video. Uh, pros, professionals, as a professional actor, I had a director, a copywriter, a cameraman, uh, and as a pro uh, entrepreneur, I have a coach and a mentor and people helping me to, and a team helping me to create the content. So the idea that we need to go act like a pro and attract our audience without any support is the great lie. And I found myself saying this, and I'll, maybe we'll close with this today. I found myself teaching this again. You know, people in the in the online space and in the visionary transformational leader space, we tend to feel like we are alone with our message, and we just have to muster it up by our bootstraps and get out there and work hard. A lot of us are pressing through that resistance around being seen and heard, and yet we feel so called that we kind of muck it up by our bootstraps and get out there, and we think that our business has to earn its way and we don't think of investing in our business. A lot of people I've worked with recently, clients that I have I know have kind of turned around this notion that they can't invest in their business until their business has enough to invest. And so, you know, if you want to present like a pro, then pros have coaches, pros have uh, feedback on their copy and their scripts and their content. Pros have someone helping them know what they can do better and how to uh, really connect uh, with an audience. And uh, you know, every great performance has a great director. So if you really are aiming for that pro level, first of all, you wanna be doing it often and frequently with video, and you wanna get the support that a pro would get which is a coach, content coach, business coach, uh, performance coach, whatever it is that you need that's gonna help you hone in. And then a pro goes back and objectively looks at the work that they've created and says, how can I make it better? Without taking every little mistake or foible uh, or uh that they say and going, oh, I shouldn't do that and I can't do that and I have to stop doing this and I have to stop doing that, yeah? So present like a pro uh, is a great goal. I would say start now and then pros have a team. Pros have support. Attracting your audience, I'll tell you the, the way to do that is to uh, have your aligned messaging, your clear aligned messaging that you just know and you've said it a lot of times in a lot of ways, probably with some support and some coaching and feedback, yeah? And when you are connected to your voice, your presence, your wisdom, your um, innate knowing, your intuitive voice, this is what I call the intuitive voice, you can hear it and you know the words and you've done the homework and the research so that those words can come through and they're the words in the language of your client, then you will, your presence, you will find the words and your presence alone will automatically engage and attract your ideal aligned rock star clients, the favorite ones, the ones you love to work with. And my business has consistently demonstrated that over the last, really since I went online about three years ago. And video has been one of the maybe the biggest tool that I have used. Video, I, I blog and I love writing emails, I love connecting with my community that way. 
So those are my answers. If you have more questions about video, you want to talk to me about video, then private message me, post the questions here. I will come back and check this thread over the next few weeks. If you want the fast video formula, you don't have it yet, type video in the comments watching the replay. And uh, if you are here, uh, of course, and we will get that out to you as soon as we can. And my suggestion for you is to get really honest with yourself about what's stopping you from using video, making videos. Try it, give it a go, get the fast video formula, make up a topic, some bullet points, try it. And if you're really brave, go ahead and post it. And if it feels like you can't do that much or you start and delete, start and delete, start and delete, or you get, uh, you try it, you do it once and you never pick it up again, uh, or if your videos aren't working to get you clients, then uh, reach out to me. I would love to support you. And uh, you would be amazed at what having a director or a champion can do to all of a sudden have what you already know click into place, getting a few of the techn technology details out of the way, and uh, you really can make a quick video anytime, anywhere that will grow your business and attract clients. Thanks for being here. I look forward to any other questions that you have. Next week, we will talk about. She's a, Corey says she's a start and delete girl. Um, there's power in that. At least you're starting. Keep going, right? Um, next week, uh, in this moment, I'm not going to make any promises, but um, I feel like underneath all of this visibility stuff is that fear and some thinking and some probably uh, experiences in your life uh, that are uh, slowing you down, standing in the way that you're carrying forward. Uh, some fears and some blocks and some resistance around taking up space, owning your voice in the world, being seen, being heard, and valuing your work in the world and being hired. So in this moment, I'm thinking next week, we'll talk about fear, resistance, and how that can uh, completely stop your business or keep you working super hard and not getting results uh, uh, for a really long time and we'll talk about some tools that you can use to shift that under inner game underneath uh, layer that can impact your visibility so dramatically all right you guys have an amazing week Mwah. we have a thread in this very group on Saturdays where you can post a video a video of you I'm going to ask that it's you in your video. We need to change that because some people have made some awesome edited videos, but because what we do here is, is about showing up on camera with our presence and our voice, if you post a quick video in our Saturday thread, so you'll have time for the weekend, um, doesn't have to be on any topic or at any caliber, one to two minutes, keep it short. When you post a video in the video thread on Saturdays, I raffle off a session, 15 minute a visibility strategy call with me voice to voice or zoom to zoom on the video conference and I would love to support you so we will do that look for that thread on Saturday and have an amazing week